Hello, my name is Sue Grant and today we are having a look at Truant of Sark. She is a Nordia 55 and as you can see, rather than having her in a marina, we're living the dream. She's in the Eastern Mediterranean at anchor and looking absolutely extraordinary. It's originally built in 1995 with her powered cutter rig, aluminium construction, in Holland. And she was refitted in 2011 with another refit this season with her current owners. A totally custom blue water cruising yacht. She is immensely strong, sails well, and her Dutch construction is simply of the first quality. When her original owners commissioned her in 1995, it was for a circumnavigation. They modernised her hull shape to give her more volume and a better motion at sea. And the interior, which we will show you a bit later, was orchestrated by fieldwork designs in the UK and made flesh by the amazing Van Dam Nordia shipyard. The paint is in green, it's metallic, with grey trim, and the yacht was totally refitted in 2011. Her first owners sailed her around the world, leaving when she was built, and in 2011 she was refitted. We're now on board the yacht with her lovely protected cockpit. Proctor Holland automated rig. Furling mainsail. All her sails are in Vectran. She's got a north cruising chute spinnaker with top down furling. She was laid up in the UK between 2000 and 2011 and then everything was taken to pieces and refitted. These owners bought her subsequently after a trip to the Caribs when she was in the Mediterranean and they have continued the good work. The Furuno you see has been replaced 2011 She's got a Lumar Commander power pack running her winches and systems. And this year the grey has been wrapped. And I'd just like you to have a look at this amazing Bimini, which does all sorts of clever things, whether you're in cool water or warm water as she is at the moment. The spray hood can fold down completely if you want to have total vision. Teak deck is in fantastic shape, as is the paint, and she's got this lovely sitting area here on the coach roof and forward-facing ports that open so that air just rushes into the interior. Of course, she's fully air-conditioned. The rig was out 2011 and it was new standing rigging. Running rigging is continuously replaced. It had new paint and you can see it looks fantastic. You can't see but the spinnaker pole is carbon fibre and painted. Amazing craftsmanship from Holland. Plenty of Durard vents so you've got loads of ventilation below. Very easy to handle with two people. That was the brief. And she's got a very clever interior down below, which we'll see in a little while. So the Reckman units were sent away to Reckman 2011 and rebuilt. So they're all in good shape. And there is a large boot in the front beneath that hatch. 
robust anchoring. Look at the fair leads with the little rollers in them, that is so cool. All of the stainless steel is of the highest quality and if you look carefully you can see all the welds are polished out. Dual anchoring, nice little dolphin seat. Everywhere she is in superb condition. Lumar on the anchor and she's holding well. And then we can have a look at the downwind sail. And that great shiny rig above the deck. She really is looking absolutely first class. She's going to be laying up this winter in the Eastern Mediterranean where she will be available for inspection. Everything comes back to the cockpit. It's a very safe boat. And look at this wiring loom for the electrics in the mast. Very well done. She has a very, very small, if not zero, work list. And anything that she needs, she has instantly. You see, this is the downwind sail controls leading aft. She's got mid boarding gates. Hatches were all replaced and are looking perfect. Very spacious and well protected cockpit. Varnish works faultless. Paint works faultless. Nice table which uncovers for alfresco eating. Controls on the pedestal. You can see the bow thrust there. Anchor. And Ferulia repeater. The furling buttons are duplicated so that you can sail handle whichever the side of the cockpit you are. Nice digital and analog readouts at the companionway. Control for the main engine. This Bimini unslots, should you wish. Passerel stows neatly on the aft superstructure. Very robust davits. Hydraulic with a nice big winch. Rope reel. Nav tech adjuster for the backstay. And also for the van, of course. This is on a separate system from the Lumar. And now I think we should uh, have a look below. Right, so we're now going down into the main saloon. The interior is cherry. And, as I say, it was designed by field work. Do you see the shadow gapping and the fantastic detailing and marquetry? This is in ebony and 
oak. Absolutely beautiful and as it ages, it gets this beautiful rich color which you don't see on veneers that aren't pretty perfect. Teak and holly sole. And then to starboard, you have a large nav station. It's got a PC running on Max C. This is the sort of nerve center of the yacht with all of the battery charging, electronics, communications. Very comfortable place to be. Tank tender, and so on. And in this cupboard, as we open it, here are the circuit breakers. As with all Nordias, uh, she's double poled, and there is a master test, so it's possible just to check to see if there's any current escaping. Very important with an aluminium yacht. And Ford, in 2011, a big modification was done. Previously, there were two upper and lower berth cabins. And in fact, there is still the option for that. Here you will see there is a sofa and an option of an upper berth cabin. And on this side, we have a double. This plate will go back and there's room for another upper and lower. In this iteration, it is a wonderful VIP cabin. The bulkhead dividing the two upper and lower berth cabins is detachable and at the moment it is out. So if you have four guests on board the yacht, you can always reinstate her original layout. Very clever and works super well. Here we've got the heads compartment for this cabin with a separated shower stall, electric heads, big vanity, lots of ventilation, and these are not flash mouldings or anything. This is all handmade beautifully and will last and last and last. Lots of easy access in here. And the doors are sliders to save space, which is very clever. And look at the joinery. Birth and Boat Company, who did this work, tried to make it look as if it was done in Holland, and I think they succeeded. So now we're going to have a look at the rest of the yacht. Big galley on these boats always. And then one of the very special things about a Nordia is the engine room. This door opens. The insulation is in rock wool, solid aluminium. When the engine and generator is running, you will not be aware. She's got a Perkins 135. This was in bits in 2011, has been beautifully maintained ever since. And there's an Onan generator just there, HEM water maker. You see the hydraulics, charging systems, and here's the main electrical control panel all totally immaculate. And then it's out of the engine room. And on our way to the owner's stateroom. On the way, we're just gonna have a look. She's got a full size Zanisi washer dryer. Absolutely essential if you're going to do blue water cruising. And then here is a proper owner's cabin. Bear in mind this yacht is only 55 feet. It goes right back to the transom, so you've got the whole of the back end of the boat. Wonderful detailing, immaculate joinery, large double berth, air-conditioned of course. Seating, 
it's such a nice place to be. It's not just for sleeping. It's also a place that you can come and read a book or just hang out. And of course, everywhere is masses of storage. Got to have a look at this wardrobe just with the glass. That looks like a fine piece of joinery that you might see in somebody's house. And there are cupboards everywhere. Look at that. There are others matching it on the starboard side, which are yet larger. So plenty of room for everything that you would want, including your truant baseball caps, which are essential. Great place to be. Feels very secure. And of course, there is also a large ensuite heads. See the detailing around the door. And in we go. Large separated shower. Again, handmade heads compartment, large sink, lots of storage. All in perfect condition. Please say thank you to the iPhone who has helped us with this tour. And then back. And let's just have a quick look in here. Look at that. Loads of room for clothes and all manner of storage. And then we're into the galley, which is big. This is actually marble solid marble. She's got everything you would expect, microwave, uh, three burner gas oven, washing up machine, refrigeration, loads and loads of storage. Twin sink, beautifully set in, and she's got a top loader for the deep freeze. And as you can see, she's partway through her cruise and uh, there's still uh, plenty of rations left. And then we've got a fridge beneath. Truant of Sark. Immaculate and very special aluminium yacht for absolutely all oceans and she gleams. <laughs>